common misperception is that an R2D's accuracy is a set percentage over the temperature range. But this is not true. An R2D's accuracy will change depending on the temperature. In order to figure out the accuracy of an RTD, a formula is used to determine the RTD's accuracy at a given temperature. For example, let's look at the accuracy of a Class B RTD at 200 degrees Celsius. In the formula, T equals our absolute temperature in degrees Celsius. So we take 200 times 0 0.005 plus 0.3 which equals plus or minus 1.3 degrees Celsius. If you want to know the accuracy of a negative temperature, keep in mind that the formula uses absolute temperature, so you would enter it as a positive number. Also, RTDs come in different tolerance classes. Common classes include class B, A, AA, and 110B. All of the RTD classes have the same operating range. However, their tolerance range, or in other words, the range in which they maintain a higher accuracy, is more limited. This chart shows the tolerance range for each class of RTD. Let's look at the Class A RTD. It has a better accuracy than Class B, but only between negative 30 and 300 C. Outside of that range, it reverts back to a Class B accuracy. Another thing to consider when determining the accuracy of your RTD is what you hook it up to. The temperature transmitters, handheld devices, or other instruments will have their own inaccuracy, which you'll have to factor in. For more two-minute tech videos and other great content, click on the subscribe button below. If you have any questions, visit RioTemp.com and click on Contact Us. Thanks for watching.